Joe Dante, the director of The Howling and Gremlins, was a big fan of monster movies. It's no wonder that his films always pay tribute to the classics. With Madinee from 1993, he goes full tribute with a film about the movie-going experience. It's set in 1962 and centers around a group of kids who are going to the theater to see a monster movie called Mant. Half man, half ant, all terror. John Goodman plays a movie director named Lawrence Woolsey, who is based on the real-life William Castle. It could have almost been a biographical film, but they went the fictional route. Woolsey is a big showman, making an in-person appearance at the screening of his new film, presented in Atomovision and Rumble Rama. Just like Castle, he plants all kinds of gags in the theater. Buzzers in the seats and a man running through the crowd in an ant costume are only some of the tricks up his sleeve. Gene is a teenage movie fan. He's always reading monster magazines, his bedroom wall has all the good posters, and of course he looks up to Woolsey. Gene's father is in the Navy aboard a submarine during the Cuban Missile Crisis. This creates a somber tone in contrast with the cheesy monster movie. The film attracts protesters for its inappropriate timing during a national crisis, but Woolsey insists that people need the escapism. One of the protesters is played by Dick Miller. Always great to see him. There's a subplot with Gene's friend Stan, who brings a girl to the movie, but her jealous ex-boyfriend happens to be the guy playing the ant, so he flips out. There's a lot going on, and in the big finale, the whole theater starts falling apart. It's the only part of this movie that I don't like. I think it's too over the top, while the rest of the movie is mostly grounded in reality. I always love films that have a movie inside a movie. There aren't enough of this kind. Even the general public in 1993 didn't really seem to catch on to this. It's great when we get to see a historical recreation of the movies of the past through a fan's eyes who was actually there to experience it for himself. It only makes sense that decades later there was an emergence of monster movies inspired by the 50s and 60s because so many directors like Joe Dante were now grown up and making their own movies. In the 80s, there were remakes of The Thing, The Fly, The Blob, even Invaders from Mars. So every generation seems to borrow something from the last. Madinee is more than just a tribute. It's a very charming coming-of-age story and a great window to the past. Thanks to Joe Dante for sharing.